You're watching Four State Friday Night, proudly sponsored by GN Bank, Crockett, Sticklin and Sticklin Law Firm, and Maco Builders. Hey, and welcome into our 2024 edition of Four States Friday Night. High school football is back in the four states. Missouri and Oklahoma kick off tonight. We get Kansas schools involved next week, but we start with our game of the week between a couple schools who look to be near the top of the new look Big Eight. Mount Vernon at home to begin the 2024 season. The Mountaineers play host to Aurora. Two teams hoping to compete for a conference title. First play of the season, Gavin Johnston drops back and fires. His pass is intercepted by Braden Allen. Aurora takes over on the first play. Mountaineer defense holds though. Later in the first, Johnston not afraid. He slings it deep. Coy Felton high points and makes the catch over the defender. Later in the drive, check this out. Johnston just before getting sacked finds Felton again. He's able to get inside the red zone. Mountaineers on the doorstep. They finish the drive with a three yard touchdown rush courtesy of Braden Dodson. Mount Vernon on top seven to nothing. Right before halftime, Mountaineers looking for more. Here's Johnston going for the end zone, but this is picked again by Aurora. Second of the game, this time it's Brody Seitz. Defensive battle throughout, but the Mountaineers only need that first touchdown. They hang on to win seven to six. Staying in the Big 8, Lamar coming off Class 2 state championship a year ago. And McDonald County went to the Class 4 state quarterfinals. That was the first time they've ever gotten that far. The Mustangs and Tigers meet tonight. Big 8 conference, another battle. Defending state champions, Lamar Tigers taking on the McDonald County Mustangs. We pick things up in the first quarter. Aiden Sheet takes the handoff on the sweep. He crosses into Mustang territory. He's going to take this one all the way inside the 10 yard line. A few plays later, Trent Torbuck calls his own number. He gets a block and he scores. First points of the game, Lamar leads 6 0 after a missed PAT. Very next play for the Mustangs. Anthony D'Amico's pass intercepted by TJ Ainsley. He's going to take this one back to the house for a pick six. Lamar scores two touchdowns in back to back plays. Tigers up 12 zip. We go to the second quarter, McDonald County's Ryder Martin takes his first snap of the game, and he's gonna punch this one in for six points. Mustangs get on the board. Lamar still leads 12-7. Lots of scoring in the first half of this one. Lamar now in the red zone late in the second quarter. Here's Torbeck firing over the middle. Trey Pitzenbarger makes the catch for the touchdown. Lamar up four going into the half. McDonald County puts up a great fight, but Lamar comes away with the win. Tigers take it 32-29. We go to the Southwest Conference. Sarcoxie was 8-1 a year ago, but lost its first playoff game, so the Bears enter 2024 hungry and motivated. Sarcoxie kicks off its football season at home against the Skyline Tigers this evening. Senior Gatton Malott leads the Bears to a successful first half, scoring a 43-yard rushing touchdown to put them up by six against the Tigers. They lead 14 to six at the end of the first quarter. Carter King though for Skyline, he answers back with a 66 yard rushing touchdown of his own at the beginning of the second quarter. That brings the deficit down to just two. Bears up 14 to 12. Then Noah Garrison and Gatlin Mallett lead the running game for the Bears. A majority of Sarkoxie's yards and touchdowns coming from the backfield. Bears lead 29-12 at the half. They go on to win 41 to 18. And as we head to break, we got a few more scores from throughout the area. Hey, welcome back into Four States Friday Night. It's our first episode of the 2024 football season. I'm KOAM Sports Director John Dales. Let's go over to Oklahoma with Fairland, who started slow but finished strong in 2023. It's Hawaiian night in Fairland, Oklahoma. The Owls taking on the Chelsea Dragons. Chelsea would win the toss and elect to receive. First drive, Tanner Reed passes to Caleb Bates. That's an 18-yard pickup. It'll move the chains. We go ahead, fourth and eight. This pass 
is going to get thrown and picked off by Logan Sparks. Big play and a turnover caused by the Owls. They're in trouble, though, near their own red zone. Sparks airs this one out deep. And he throws it, but Blake Murray makes the catch. That's a big first down. Reed looking deep later on, and his pass to Ben Hagebush caught, and he scampers into the end zone for the touchdown. That's the first points of the game, 8-0 Chelsea. Sparks, though, responds back. He finds Darren Macy. He goes all the way to the one-yard line. Then Sparks finishes it off, takes it himself into the end zone. Chelsea, though, responds in kind. Jake England shows off his agility, goes to the outside, he scores. Chelsea wins this one, 29-16. Well, back to Missouri. You used to know them as the College Heights Cougars. Now, they're the New Heights Cougars, and they begin the 2024 season at home. It's New Heights against Rich Hill. At Missouri Southern, Rich Hill starts the night by winning the coin toss and electing to receive. That leads to a touchdown, courtesy of senior Zane Becker for Rich Hill. But New Heights responds. This is junior Cannon Miller. He goes deep. That's a touchdown, except there's a flag on the play. That would come back. Second attempt, though, works just as well. Here's the senior Logan Decker. He takes it into the end zone himself for the touchdown. New Heights on the board. A fumble from Rich Hill would then allow New Heights to get the ball right back here. Cougars further their lead in the first quarter with another touchdown, this time courtesy of number 35, Caleb Hipple. He's a senior and he gets on the board. New Heights continues its lead into the second quarter. A lot more scoring, several touchdowns by the Cougars, and eventually New Heights leads 60 to 16 at the half. They didn't let up in the second half. They go on to win 82 to 24. Now let's check out a couple of our local teams that are away from home tonight. We start with Webb City, who opens its season with a tough road contest. Webb City at Lebanon on the road. This game got delayed into an 8.50 start time, so it's still going on. Check this out, Lebanon looks to go deep early, but Andrew Young snags it out of the air. That's an interception. For the Cardinals, Young with a nice half. More on him in a bit. Couple drives later, Cardinals on offense. Jackson Lucas shows off his arm. Joseph DeGraffenry catches the deep ball. Nobody near him. He's wondering where the nearest defender is. Cardinals take a seven point lead. Yellow Jackets trying to keep it interesting, but check out this play. It's Young again, makes an insane play. Takes the pitch straight from the quarterback. He takes it all the way to the other way to the end zone, something you don't see every day. Cardinals lead 14 to seven at halftime. That's where we are right now. Cardinals are back at home next week to take on Nixa. Meanwhile, Joplin on the road at Kickapoo. They won a playoff game there last year. Joplin falls behind seven nothing early. Shortly after, into Kickapoo territory, they have the ball loose and that goes back to Kickapoo after the fumble. Ensuing drive though, Kickapoo backed up by a penalty. Here comes pressure from the Eagles. Tries to throw that one away, but that's grounding. That's gonna end up in a safety. Eagles on the board, they're down 7-2. Now they got all the momentum. Here's Daniel Rose at quarterback, buying time, lets it fly. Devin Thomas is on the other end of that one. Just like that, he reaches over the pylon. Eagles have the lead. And just before halftime, Rose again, got all sorts of time, airs this one out. Beautiful dime, and it's caught by Collis Jones. He goes all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Joplin would take it 30 to seven. Well, that's all the time we have for you on our first edition of Four States Friday Night here in 2024. We hope you'll join us right again here next week and every week for the high school football season. As well, next week we have our first episode of Fox Press Box. That's at 11 o'clock on Fox 14. But for now, here's a look at some of the top plays of the night.